This is a critical reasoning question where we have a small, short paragraph and then we have to answer the question, which in this case is, which of the following, if true, most helps to explain why the time spent washing clothes increased in rural areas? So the argument is as follows. You have electric washing machines becoming available in 1925. So we'll call them EW, electric washing machines. What happens? Well, the amount of time people spend on washing their clothes goes up. So electric washing machine, time goes up. Now that's surprising because electrical washing or electric washing machine actually reduces the amount of time you have to spend cleaning or washing clothes. So there's a paradox here. How is it that if you spend less time washing clothes that the amount of time actually goes up? Now they make a little concession point here. If you look in line five and six, it says this increase is partially accounted for by the fact that many urban households had previously sent their laundry or their clothes to professional launderers. So that makes sense because now they're no longer just sending it off for somebody else to do, but they're actually doing the laundry or the work themselves. So it would make sense that you'd have an increase, but that's urban households. So we, we aren't worried about urban households here. We're worried about rural. So notice the question is, well, says, which of the following of tree most helps to explain why the time spent washing clothes increased in rural areas. So if you read the bottom as well, what, what else do we learn? But the average amount of time spent washing clothes also increased for rural households with no access to professional launders. So professional, professional launders, rural people, put them in this little square, they have no access to them. So why then? How is it that if a washing machine or is electric washing machine is much more efficient. How is it that people are actually spending more time washing clothes? What's going on here? So that's what the question is asking. And so let's start with answer choice A. People with access to an electric washing machine typically wore their clothes many fewer times before washing them than be, did people without access to electric washing machines. So people back in the days pre-1925, maybe there was a t-shirt, and they washed it after wearing it 20 times. Again, just trying to, trying to prove a point here, not <laughs> assuming that they were necessarily that derelict in their bathing or washing duties, but let's just assume 20 times. And now we have this new machine that, hey, I'm gonna wear my t-shirt just one time and I'm gonna throw it in there because it's so easy to do, why not? So, so that would that explain what's going on here? The idea that people are actually spending a lot more time washing than they did before. Well, yeah, if you only wash your clothes once every 20 times versus every time, that could definitely account for it. So A is a strong answer, so we're gonna put a check mark next to it. B, households that had sent their clothes to professional laundries before 1925 were more likely than other households to purchase an electric washing machine. Sure, that makes sense. In the sense that what's the argument saying or what's the paragraph saying that the amount of time went up, it went up for people. So people had electric washing machines now, the amount of time went up because they used to send them off to professional owners. So that would be, again, that would make sense in the context of the paragraph, but would it answer the question? We're focusing on here on rural households. They didn't even have professional launderers. Remember this, I X that out. So that doesn't even answer our question. Our paradox here is unresolved. So P, B is not much help. C, people living in urban households that had previously sent their clothes to professional laundry typically own more clothes than did people living in rural households. Okay, again, we are dealing with rural households that not having professional launders available and the fact that they are spending more time. We need an answer choice to address that. Here we're just comparing people in urban households with rural houses, rural households, and we're saying that they had actually previously sent their clothes to professional laundries, typically own more clothes. What does that have to do here with rural people's behavior? It doesn't matter if the urban people own more clothes. It doesn't address this paradox, why rural people are spending much more time washing their clothes. A does, so A is good for now. Look at B. The earliest electric Washing machines require the user to spend more, much more time besides the machine than do modern electrical washing machines. Interesting fact has absolutely nothing to do with our argument here. 
Then there's E. In the 1920s and the 30s, the proportion of rural households with electric electricity was smaller than the proportion of urban households with electricity. Again, we're comparing urban, comparing rural, but we're not answering the question why rural people are spending so much time with washing machines, whether or not they actually had electricity. And we're assuming that the ones who had the washing machines probably had, the electric washing machines probably had the electricity. So again, there really isn't much good comparing urban and rural, especially if we don't answer the question why the rural people were spending more time. And the only answer choice that does that is A. Hey.